Now, when you bring it down. Hey guys, Craig McDonald. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, another tip and trick tip bit of information. I'm going to show you how to do some to fix a, a trot line with a piece of paracord. Um, inside, if you buy a real paracord, real 5 feet paracord, inside of it are strands of line. Should be seven, okay? So that's what it looks like inside the sheet of the paracord. So, I'm going to take a piece that I pulled out already. This is what it looks like when you pull it out. Okay? And what we're going to do is put a hook on this. It's real easy. Uh, this is a big catfish hook. I'm going to tie it onto my piece of paracord. I'm going to tie the super handy dandy fisherman's loop knot that my dad showed me about 40 years ago. Thanks, Dad. Now, when you're fixing this, you're going to have to decide how deep you're going to fish. For the purpose of our video, we're going to fish two feet deep, about. Gonna have. You know, is that a realistic depth? Well, it depends on, on where you're fishing at and what you're fishing for and what bait you're using. And, you know, those are things I just can't teach you. That's something that only experience will teach you. Um, so the premise of this is, is that you have taken the inside out of your paracord and you're using it for your drop lines. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our main piece of paracord and we're going to stretch this across our body of water. That depends on what you, where you're at, what your situation is, whether it's a lake or stream or river or whatever. I don't, you know, that's that's your situation. And very simply, we're going to stretch that out, and we're going to tie our um, let me cut this off. We're going to tie our drop line onto our paracord. You can tie that with a hitch or whatever you want to tie it. Okay, so that's the idea. Hope you can see that okay. Now we're going to have bait on our hook. Our, hook, our power lines, we're going, to put, we're going to put this together before we put it over our body of water. I would space these out, you know, somewhere around at least four feet, something like that. Um, so if you were fishing across a river or, uh, you know, a small river that was 30 feet wide, you could put eight of them across. Uh, hang your bait on there, depending on how deep the river is, you may want that 2 feet, you may want 10 feet, you may want it whatever. Uh, and you leave it and you check it every day and you see if you got any fish. That's as easy as it gets, that's a good tidbit of uh, wilderness survival information. And that's about it guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Greg McDonald with SurvivalSpyAndTrain.com. Check us out, uh, check out our website www.SurvivalSpyAndTrain.com. We're in the process of a big change in our website. Um, over right now, we got. We, we hope we have absolutely the best prices for survival gear on the internet. Um, so check us out. Um, right now, we're about 40,000 items. We're about to add 40,000 more items. We're creating a survival superstore. So thanks for watching, guys. Be safe.